party opposite. You're worried about debt. You're worried about cost. You should be worried about the cost that we are passing on to our kids, the cost of climate change. Yeah. We have got an emergency here, and the party opposite is not telling the truth to Canadians. Why don't they step up? Why don't they step up for climate action? Why don't step up for the economy, the future, and stop misleading Canadians? Ms. Climate Emergency, former Environment Minister Catherine McKenna wanted to fly her own staff from Ottawa to Nunavut for a quickie press conference. The scheme to staff her multi-million dollar announcement in the Arctic fell through when Transport Canada told Cabinet's chief climate hysteric that flights were unavailable. Staff from other agencies already in Nunavut were instead deployed to beef up her northern infrastructure announcement. So who better to talk to than the Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Catherine McKenna. Thank you for joining me. I'm happy to be here. Now you had a suggestion uh, yesterday, you suggested. Snowshoeing. Snowshoeing. Um, good thing you're not the Minister of Transport. You know, I actually gave him some real advice. I said that if you actually say it louder, we've learned in the House of Commons, if you repeat it, if you say it louder, if that is your talking point, people will totally believe it, so just go in. I think the system we've got now has led to polarization across the country, and I think that's really unfortunate because we're competing against the whole world. <laughs> Details of McKenna's reflex impulse to fly staff into the north during a so-called climate emergency were uncovered in an 18-month overdue 450-page access filing exclusively obtained by Rebel News through your donations at a special website, rebelinvestigates.com. So thank you in advance to everybody who made this important work possible. Now, a series of emails between then Infrastructure Minister McKenna's staff show a demand to have the Transport Department staff flown in from Ottawa last minute to support the 2021 funding promise of a deep water port, an aircraft port, and a water treatment facility in Nunavut. Now, McKenna wanted her own communications person flown in from Ottawa to be at the event. However, in a moment of sanity out of the federal government, two separate bureaucrats from Transport Canada denied the request. One responded, we have looked into flight options. There are no flights. And so it is not feasible to have a Transport Canada employee on site for the event. We would still be able to organize AV services on site and, of course, provide you comms products as usual. Another staffer chimed in to agree. I can support that we cannot send any Transport Canada comms people to support. It is logistically impossible. We have done the research and we cannot fly into either Nunavut location. Sorry about that. Hoping the other MO, so that's minister's office or department, can support. Happy to chat about this. So, bureaucrats for the agency, Transport Canada, which is busy outlawing the sale of fossil fuel cars by 2035 to combat the effects of global boiling, denied the request on logistical grounds, not because of carbon expenditures. Isn't that cute? McKenna, as the environment minister, you'll recall in 2019, brought forward a motion which passed in the House of Commons to declare a, quote, national climate emergency caused, of course, by the carbon dioxide emissions of everyday Canadians and not her own. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. This piece of journalism was brought to you by you. You see, we rely on the support of our viewers at home to help offset our research costs because we'll never take a penny from Justin Trudeau. So thank you to everybody who continues to donate at a very special website, which makes so much of my work possible, rebelinvestigates.com.